try and avoid reviewing Steel BB air pistols. They're not really my thing. Um, I'm not a great fan of them, but this thing's worthy of a review. And to be honest, I have had some fun with this, so I may do a few more. We'll see how this video rolls out anyway. But uh, this thing is pretty much worthy of a half decent review. So I thought I'd uh, throw out a rack and load review of this thing. And it is the Webley Mark VI service revolver in 4.5 steel BB and it's CO2. Uh, a pretty much exact copy of uh, the Mark VI service revolver which was in 455, 0.455 calibre. Um, and it's a good fun little gun, back garden plinker. Now this is the box that you get. Um, and it's quite an interesting box as far as boxes go. Um, tells you all, pretty much all the details uh, about the gun. Um, there is a little mistake on here. It does say it's um, where are we? An airsoft gun. Uh, not an airsoft gun. Not firing uh, steel BBs anyway. So it's not a six millimeter airsoft uh, gun. It's a 177 or 4.5 uh, CO2. Now, the box is interesting, like I was saying. Uh, it gives you a bit of the history about the uh, original firearm itself. Uh, that's quite good and also tells you about uh, what films and uh, games it's actually sort of starred in, so to speak. Um, all your uh, usual stuff comes in the box, so I've got it all out because I'm going to show you it in more detail. But yeah, that's the box anyway. So let's talk about the gun itself then. So, obviously, well, it takes your normal uh, steel BBs, 4.5mm steel BBs, and it takes your CO2 bulbs. 12 gram CO2 bulbs, so I can't think today. And it takes these little basically hollowed out shells, and you pretty much just shove the BB in the end of that, and obviously charge the gun with your uh, CO2 bulb, and you're good to go. Now, let's talk about the gun then. So, this is it, and it's quite heavyweight as well. It really does feel good in the hand, this gun. For a, for a BB gun, you know, I was quite surprised. So, to open it, push that lever just like the original. Push that forward, open it, and it does flick that ejector. Now, this thing won't eject these uh, cartridges because these cartridges are a little bit heavier than... Uh, empty 0.455 cases so the original would just sort of flick them out but this won't I'll sort of demonstrate for you put one in open it up it don't flick them out so which is a good thing because you don't want to lose these and sort of have them flying everywhere so it's a smooth bore because um, it's firing your BBs, so there's the barrel, no rifling in there, just a smooth bore barrel. And this pistol it is all metal construction, which is really nice. The only thing is um, your handles that are plastic. And the only thing that's different about this gun, well, a couple of things to the real firearm, is obviously. It takes CO2 and uh, you know, you've got a 4.5 millimeter barrel as opposed to uh, 0.455 is you've got a um, safety catch. Uh, there's some slight differences here because this lever would be flush with the actual rear of the frame. But obviously there's a valve in there so they've had to uh, sort of make that slightly different. And also there'd be a pin holding that front sight on as well. But apart from that, it's pretty much uh, as good as the uh, as the real thing as far as looks, uh, feel and weight are concerned. It's actually based on the original uh, blueprints 
of the web link, so it says on the box. You can get it there, based off all the original blueprints, look. So that's cool. But yeah, it's a real, uh, it's a real sort of heavyweight, heavyweight gun. Um, really sort of nice to play with. Very authentic in the way you load it, just like the real thing. You know, um, real good fun, and it does feel real good quality as well. It's just a beast in the hand. Real good. Now. The handle then, let's talk about the handle. So, plastic, um, it's, I don't know, it's okay. It doesn't feel sort of great plastic, but it's okay. Now, you'll notice there's a little recess there. That's to sort of get your, get your finger in and peel off the, uh, the handle there to re reveal the uh, area to put your CO2 bulb in. And basically you'll just pop that in and then you turn this uh, lanyard ring here and that's your screw to sort of pierce the, uh, the, the CO2 bulb and then obviously to take it out, undo that and you're good to go. But to put the, uh, the handle back on or the grip, basically just that little thing there, that little um, lip that you can see. Just put that into the hole there, squeeze it down, you're good to go. Now that's the handle. The actual frame itself is just nice and solid. Um, say the quality of this pistol is really, really good. Uh, for a BB gun, it, is, uh, it really is good. Uh, everything's metal on it, like I said, apart from the handle. Uh, it's just oozes quality. You've got your original markings there. Get it in focus. Uh, that's a sticker by the way so if you want to sort of uh, make it look real authentic you can peel that off. But You've got some more markings there as well. The date on there, 1915. And then on this side you got your BB markings just to go and ruin the uh, the look of it but now it's got to have that on for legal purposes no doubt now it is single action and double action the um, when you actually cock this gun it is really smooth everything's nice and smooth um, again quality the the guts of this gun must be as good quality as the outside of it because everything feels solid. Uh, the trigger, double action obviously is going to be sort of heavy. Um, single action is really nice. Now there is a bit of gas in this but uh, it's in a safe direction but there's no cartridges in there. It's just really, really nice. Goes goes with a quite a pop as well and out of um, a lot of CO2 pistols that I have used, this thing seems to be quite loud, which is a good thing if uh, if your neighbours don't complain, if you're plinking in the back garden. But um, yeah, single action, you got double action, and then single action. Uh, just really, uh, really good. Uh, you get quite a bit of blast of CO2, especially in the cold, sort of uh, venting out the front as well as the barrel, uh, front of the cylinder, it, uh, it does look quite good. Uh, you probably see that at the start of the video. But to, to load it, push that lever down, that breaks the gun open. And then, now I found a bit of a trick to uh, load up the BBs, because um, I tend, like I said, not to uh, do much with BB guns, but um, I sort of uh, learnt the hard way of loading these things up. What I found was get a, a pellet tin, um, an empty one or just a lid off one, chuck a few BBs in there and then I found the best bet, oh look at me I'm spilling them everywhere, get one of your cartridges and just basically push down on a BB and there you are, good to go, focus, rather than trying to fumble and put one of these things in and push it in. 
especially if you're wearing gloves. I was managing to shoot this thing wearing gloves and just load it up. Dead easy like that. So that's just a little tip guys, if you're into your BB shooting you'll know that one anyway. But I just thought I'd uh, tell you about that. Simple little trick that will save you a bit of time when you're trying to load this thing up as fast as you can. I'll just give you guys some close ups of this. So you can have a real good look at it. It is field strippable as well. I'm not going to do it, but uh, as far as field stripping goes, it's basically the cylinder just comes off and that's your field strip. Don't think there'll be any, way, any need to do it uh, in the CO2 version. It's not like it's going to get dirty. There's no sort of powder residue to clean up. But for authenticity, it field strips. Looks quite good as well when you look down that cylinder and you've got BBs loaded in there. Looks pretty cool. I am pointing this at the camera and not myself by the way guys. Now probably the only thing I didn't like about this was, I know it's an original um, sort of feature this lanyard loop uh, but I found it was flexing a little bit I don't know how long it would last whether it would sort of bend and snap or something I don't know but um, I don't know I've always sort of done these up tight as far as uh, CO2 bulbs are concerned I always sort of like to do them up nice and tight when I was sort of really tweaking this to do it up tight, I felt this thing flexing a little bit and I thought, whoa, ease off a bit. Uh, but that's probably just me. Um, you'd have to sort of see how you go with it. It would just be one of those things where uh, only time will tell. Now this is your little safety catch that's on the CO2 version, not the original. Um, works quite well, it's nice and positive and it does lock the trigger nicely locks, locks it up solid and you can't cock it either so it's good safety catch now the hammer's nice as well got a nice bit of knurling on there so you get plenty of grip on that Cocks nice and smoothly. Just give you a close up of the valve there. And like most revolvers, you can decock that as well. There's the rear of the valve as well that the hammer strikes to release all that CO2 to send your BB on its way your front sight is a fixed blade as well there's nothing you can do as far as adjusting that and you've got a recessed barrel there so it tucked away Some of the screws on the frame are just cosmetic, just to add to the authenticity. And that pin there, that's just uh, cosmetic again. So let's just eject these shells then. And there's your ejector, I'll give you a close up of that. Push that lever forward which your rear sight is sort of mount, mounted on. Push that lever forward and then as you open it you'll see that ejector rise up. 
Now like I said, reel one would flick those cartridges straight out. Well those empty cases straight out. But this won't because these are a little bit heavier than an empty uh, case. But like I said you don't want them flicking all over the floor anyway. The six shells that come with the gun are really quite good. You've got the Webley markings on there, 0.455, although these are considerably smaller than what a 0 .55, 0 0.455 caliber cartridge would be. But uh, real nice, but sort of made out of brass as well. And then this end bit, the bullet part of it is plastic. But they're pretty cool. And like I said, to, uh, to load them up, Let's just get the rest of them here. Just pop them all in. And there you go. Just snap it closed. And then you're ready to rock. Sights aren't that bad either. Although they are non-adjustable. But I found the BBs that were being spat out of this were going a bit sort of anyhow, so to speak, down range. Um, obviously, it's a smooth bore, it's not a rifle barrel, and you're firing these things, so don't expect uh, great sort of accuracy. Um, it's just a back garden plinker, you're not going to win any competitions with this thing, but the main selling point with this gun is just the looks of it. I mean, if you're into your World War II, your World War I stuff, uh, you really are going to like this thing. It just really is good. Uh, I mean, you've just got to sort of feel one just to appreciate how the quality of these guns it is. It just really is uh, really good for a BB gun. Now, the price. Now... You're talking £200 here in the UK, which I think is a little bit excessive for a BB gun. I certainly wouldn't go out and pay 200 quid for one of these. I really wouldn't. Um, if it was a rifle barrel and it could fire pellets, then maybe, you know, if it was around the sort of 160, 170 mark, then I'd probably be tempted. But aimed at the um, sort of historical shooters in inverted uh, commas it'll appeal um, even if it's just a, a display piece costume piece it'll certainly appeal um, to a lot of people out there now the manual that you get with this Webley Mark 6 is really good got some real nice uh, detailed diagrams Obviously tells you all your do's and don'ts, safety stuff, and some just nice diagrams of how to load your CO2, how to load your BBs into the cartridges. That's that little trick I was telling you, rather than sort of place them in with your fingers, just push down on them in an old pellet tin or an old pellet tin lid. But that's your manual, nice and detailed nice and clear and easy to read and also like on the back of the box gives you like the film and game credits there so that's your manual and an added bonus that you get with this gun which um, you guys that are into your history or like is you get a copy of the original small arms training manual volume 1 pamphlet number 11 to be precise issued in 1937 this is uh, really quite good to look through. Um, have a good read of this. It really is. Uh, it really is nice to read, guys. If you're into your uh, World War history and stuff, you know, and you know, period sort of stuff, uh, you'll find this a good little read, and it's well worth looking at. Gives you some good uh, drawings there. Original drawings how to use this original firearm so that's pretty cool added bonus 
I was getting around 60 to 70 shots out of this per CO2 bulb but it was pretty cold where I was shooting this gun so you may get more just to keep those CO2 bulbs warm keep them in your pocket and just get them out at the last minute when you put them in the gun and you probably get a few more shots out of it than what I was managing So that's your rack and load review then guys of the Webley Mark 6 service revolver in steel BB 4.5mm CO2 definitely one for the collectors tad bit expensive for my liking but nevertheless a piece of history and some good uh, back garden plinking to be had with this gun Thanks for watching guys, see ya.